What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday, hump day. We have two good wads on deck for today, or one strength and one wad. So, the strength today is going to be a seven minute AMRAP of variations of push ups for seven reps, and then a banded pull apart for 30 reps. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start the clock running for seven minutes. At the start, you're going to get down, you're going to do seven narrow grip or closed grip push ups. So what this looks like is your hands are close together. We're going to keep our elbows tight to our body and push back up. Now this is mainly targeting the triceps and the interior of our chest. After seven reps on the closed grip push ups, we're going to spread it out to a wide grip. And get seven reps. Now the wide grip is going to target our shoulders a little bit more along with the outer parts of our pectorals. Now after seven reps on the wide grip, we're going to bring it into normal push-up grip. So hands just outside of shoulder width. We're going to come down, elbows at 45 degrees, hand release push-ups for seven reps. All right, so after seven reps there, you're going to get up, you're going to grab your band, and you're going to have straight arms holding that band, bringing the arms out to the side, keeping them straight the whole time and squeezing those shoulder blades each and every rep. And we have 30 reps here. All right, if you don't have a band at home, you can grab two dumbbells or two objects, and you're just gonna get in the bent over row position, and you're gonna do flies, keeping your arms nice and straight, and squeezing those back muscles as you come up to the top of the movement. Now, we're gonna repeat through this for seven minutes, as many rounds and reps as possible. Now, the goal is not speed here, it is for quality. All right, it's still a strength piece, so make sure you're not moving too fast but focusing on the movements themselves. All right, now, the wad today is called Hellhole, and rightfully so. Um, it's going to be four different intervals. First one's two minutes, second one's two minutes, third one's two minutes, and the fourth one is three minutes long. You have two minutes rest in between each interval. Now, the goal of each of the intervals is to progressively get to 50 single dumbbell devil's presses. All right, so the clock is gonna start for the first interval, and we're going to get either 35 double unders, 60 single unders, or we're going to do 20 hops over the dumbbell, lateral. All right, now after the lateral hops or the jump ropes, we're going to do five burpees over the dumbbell, lateral. And that's going to be at the beginning of every interval. All right, so after you finish the jump ropes and the burpees, you are going to do max single dumbbell devil's presses for the rest of the two minutes, racking up those reps, trying to gather 50 reps. All right, so now say in the first round you get 15 reps, you're gonna rest for two minutes. The second interval is gonna start, you're gonna do the jump ropes, the burpees, and then you're gonna continue counting up from 15, working your way up to 50. All right, so now, if you finish 50 reps and say the third interval, then the workout is done and your score is the time that's shown on the clock. All right, if you don't finish the 50 reps by the end of the last interval, which is three minutes long, then your score is going to be 15 minutes and then you're gonna note however many reps of devil's presses that you got in the workout. All right, so for the devil's press, dumbbell is going to be in one hand. You're gonna put it down Burpee, and snatch up overhead. Switching hands, every rep. All right, now the devil's press is a slow, methodical movement. It involves a lot of muscles in the body. It involves the whole body. So what you wanna do is make sure that you are breathing constantly and keeping a nice, moderate pace through these. Too fast in the devil's presses and you will crash and burn. Trust me, the heart rate will get jacked. All right, so you want to keep a nice, slow, not slow, a moderate pace, a consistent pace, and you want to breathe. You want to breathe on the burpee, and you want to breathe as you're coming up into the snatch. Same thing every single rep, all right? Slowly move through each of these reps one at a time. Don't try to push the pace super fast right out of the gate, all right? Because you will jack up your heart rate and you will plummet and hit that red line. All right, so just be aware. Any questions on this, shoot me an email, send me a text message. It is a good wad today. Make sure that you try to find your threshold. This is a good workout to find your threshold. 
So push the pace, go a little bit further than what you think you're capable of, and see where that line is, and see how close you can get to it. All right, enjoy the workout today, work hard, and we'll see you tomorrow.